So let's rewrite 8 sine 3n cos 3n as a single trig ratio. And of course, we're going to be using double angle identities. So 8 sine 3n cos 3n, if I look at this, I recognize that it looks like that the most, 2 sine x cos x. Okay? But I have an 8 here instead of a 2, so I'm just going to break the 8 down. I will, I will rewrite it as 4 times 2 sine 3n cos 3n. Look at that, look at that. Now I have 2 sine something cos something, right? But now I still have a 3n instead of an x. So what I'll do in this case is that I'll make 3n equal to x. So I can rewrite the whole thing as 4 times 2 sine x cos x. After all, 3n is x. And at this point, I can actually just say, okay, well, I have 2 sine x cos x. That is the same thing as sine 2x. So this is just sine 2x. But remember that in our original question, we didn't have an x, we just had 3n. So I'm going to plug in the 3n right here. So we're going to have 4 sine 2 times 3n, which would give us 4 sine 6n. And that's it.